everybody. If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. <gasps> Hello, little readers. How do you like my Christmas tree? I think me and Midnight did a good job. We put lots of book ornaments on it. Oh, and hey, watch this. Do you like our Christmas lights? Have you guys decorated your home? Cool. Hey, Midnight was just taking a nap because he helped me decorate, but I'm sure that we could wake him up and tell a story together. What do you say? Yay! Oh, Midnight. Midnight. Oh, Midnight. I have an idea. Why don't we start saying the magic words? Then he'll for sure come out and read a story with us. Ready? One, two, three. Sleep, be midnight, please. Wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. I said, sleep, be midnight, please. Wake mm. up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. Say it with me, sleep. Be midnight, please. Wake up fast. We like to read a story from the past. Mm. Yay! You did it! Let's see what story Midnight finds for us to read today. Penny's Adventure. Written by Kelly Sweet and illustrated by David Nass. Psst! Cookie Bear, Billy, and Penny lived on a farm in the country. The farm had a beautiful meadow full of lush green grass and trees. They had a big red barn to roost in. Do you see the barn? And what color is the barn? If you know the answer, shout it out loud. You'll be sure to make me and Midnight very proud. That's right, it's the color red. Time to turn the page and get back to the story. Cookie Bear was a beautiful gray and white hen. Billy was a white rooster with a tuft of feathers cascading over his eyes. I sure am having fun reading with you. Are you having fun too? Yay! Penny was their little chick. She had gray and white feathers and asked a lot of questions. Hmm, what kind of questions do you think she asked? Let's turn the page and find out. She asked Cookie Bear, Mama, what do you like to do? Cookie Bear said, I like to dig in the dirt and find bugs to eat. And do you see? There's a little earthworm. Who else do you think Penny asked questions to besides her mama? Hmm. Probably her dad. Penny went to Billy and said, Daddy, what do you like to do? Billy replied, I like to go cut the doodle do so everyone knows it's morning and time to wake up. <laughs> Can you do cock a doodle do with me? Ready? One, two, three. Cock a doodle do! <laughs> Yay! Great job! Let's get back to the story. On one particularly beautiful summer day, Penny rushed outside into the green, lush grass. Do you know what kind of animal that is? That's right, it is a bee, surrounded by a bunch of beautiful sunflowers. You ready to turn the page? Me too. Penny saw a big black and white cat. She said, hi, what's your name? The cat said, my name is Roy. What do you like to do? Asked Penny. I like to lay down in the warm sun and watch the birds fly by, replied Roy. And see, there's Roy, and he's a black and white cat. 
And do you remember what animal he likes to watch flying by? If you know the answer, shout it out loud. You'll be sure to make me and Midnight very proud. Do you know what kind of animal that is? Did I hear you say a bird? That's right, a bird. Time to turn the page and get back to the story. Penny went a little farther and saw a brown and white dog. Penny asked, hi, what's your name? The dog replied, my name is Charlie. What do you like to do? Charlie replied, I like to chase balls that my owner throws for me. Gee, I wonder what will happen next. Penny waddled a little farther until she saw a beautiful brown horse. Penny said, Hi, what's your name? The horse replied, My name is Molly. What do you like to do? Penny asked. I like to graze in the grass and have my owner give me belly rubs, replied Molly. I sure am having fun reading with you. Are you having fun too? Yay! Penny continued waddling through the field. Suddenly, a squirrel hopped right in front of her. Penny said, Hi, what's your name? The squirrel replied, My name is Sam. What do you like to do? Sam said, I like to climb trees and hunt for nuts, acorns, and berries to eat. It was getting dark, and Cookie Bear was clucking for Penny to come home. Penny raced through the field to her barn. See, there's Mama Cookie Bear, and there's Penny racing home. When they were all settled in for the night on a nest of hay, Penny said, You know what I like to do? What do you think Penny likes to do? Let's turn the page and find out. I like to be with my mama and daddy. Yay! Great job! The end. Thank you so much for reading with us, little readers. And everyone say thank you to Midnight, who is already back sleeping. All right. Good night, you sleepy magic book. Isn't he so silly? All right, everyone. See you next time. The story's all done. I hope you had fun with S T O R Y T I M E Story Time with S A N D I Story Time Sandy. To join my tribe, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hey there, parents, teachers, other educators. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Penny's Adventure, written by Kelly Sweet and illustrated by David Nass. Special shout out and thank you so much to Mascot Books for sending me this book to feature on my channel. It really means the world to me because I just want to help create more content for kids that is actually educational. <laughs> um, you can follow Mascot Books on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I encourage you to buy their books because they're gorgeous. They, I mean, they really are. And there's something so old school and lovely about kids being able to actually hold books and learn how to read them with me, but then also read them on their own at home or in school. So you can buy their books at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Books A Million, and even on their own website. Uh, don't worry, I posted all the information and links down below in the description of the video. Tell me what you think, how I can make my videos better. I encourage open communication between me and you guys so I can make the channel the best it can be. <laughs> all right, thanks everyone. Happy holidays. And if you missed the last story, or you just want to read it again, you can click that video right there. Go on, click it! And if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit subscribe, that button right there. That way, you'll be sure not to miss any other stories that Midnight finds for us to read. Goodbye, little readers!